have a matter that could use your expertise. Care to elaborate? I devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long-standing menace. Details, Matt. I need details. I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted. This vigilante needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so, we must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants, until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then, we must take him on in an earth-shattering final conflict. <laughs> ah, the three count. You even got the sm- All right. A delicate balance of mildew and desperation. Loosest slots in Steelport. Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. Fine. Just make sure this is awesome. Okay. Here comes trouble. This is the army of minions you mentioned? The fucking zombies, Matt! You... Uh, have to be prepared for anything. I don't think zombies are exactly relevant to fighting Zinyak. So whose army is this really? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well, uh... Matt, have you seriously pulled me into some Nightblade fan fiction? Please! I'm not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed, bad... Wish fulfillment brimming with cannon breaking Mary Sue's and. So you do go trolling for that kind of thing? Of course I've read it! You've been working on this simulation for a while, haven't you? Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three when it seemed Nightwing may be retired. So we set about finding the one person who could take his place. Oh, Matt. Sweet, silly Matt. Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series. As with many classic genre shows, the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. Shut up, I'm not judging. You're not? No, I told you. But I'm not in the mood to have this conversation right now. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive. Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories. Yeah, that's the worst part about losing Earth, all right. Almost beats dancing. Thank you, Nightblade. The bad news is the Cardinal is not in the three count, as we originally thought. <sighs> I should have known. Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yep, that's me, all right. The Cardinal is on the move, but I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close, but not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. What do you think? 
You have to be having some fun. You think so, huh? This little bit? I'll give you the zombies, but don't push it. Well, I knew you were having a good time. So you really built this simulation for Asha? Originally? Yes. I wonder why she would reject such a masterpiece. Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. Bummer. Blindsided while we look for the bad guy? Not bad, Matt. Good escalation of conflict. Uh, thank you. So what's the Cyprian Order? I'm not exactly a Nightblade fan. The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers, waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Frank the Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace, and was turned into one such creature. A vampire. Okay, so the Cyprian Order hunts Nightblade even though he used to be with them? That's right. But Nightblade still fights vampires, right? Plus the Cyprian Order? Correct! That sounds... better than expected. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. Is this how you've been using your time since I freed you? It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. And how many of these did she ask you to build? I don't know, a dozen? Isn't that overkill? She likes to keep her skills honed. Blade. What more is there? A girlfriend? A love interest? Oh! Oh! Oh my god, yes! Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter! A loner. A rebel. And no matter how many bloodsuckers he kills, he'll never again find love. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, after losing Sylvia, I can never love again. Oh, that's a pretty good line. One of the finest ever written. God, I'm so sick of having to pick up the Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Zinyak, that's not good. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What are you doing to my story? Matt, don't go near him. I will not! I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction! Don't go near him, Matt. Matt Miller, I thought you were my ally. But I am! Now, I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! This is already so bad. on the mission. We could have been such close friends, Matt, but you stabbed me through the heart. Uh, metaphorically. We are going to get Zinyak for this. Where for this? It's not like we had any other reasons for wanting Zinyak's head on a spike. You're not taking this seriously! I'd just rather not get killed over this, Matt. Uh, I can't take I'll this always anymore! Win my I don't want to fight you, Nightblade. Franklin Knight! It's done. Nightblade has fallen. Sorry it had to go this way. <laughs> Typical writer. Can't stand honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe. I suppose you'll have this your way. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. We're not finished. We're not? We're not done till you get your powers. Powers? Powers? How would I... You mean from Nightblade? The war goes on, Matt. 
The creatures of the night must be defeated. And you're just the person to take over for Franklin. Night. So, you do understand. Hey, if it makes any difference? Yes? As planet Earth's sole surviving world leader, this must be within my power, so... I hereby assign you all rights, titles, licenses, and possible merchandise rights to the Nightblade property. You what? I do have one condition, though. Of course. Never stop. mission my call there's a shipment of trucks being unloaded at the dock that's where we hit first to start drawing out zinyak's guys sounds good race you to the docks no get in i'm driving maybe your mission but i'm driving pierce fine but i control the radio okay but no dubstep you said there was a shipment of trucks what Zinyak need with those? Oh, they ain't for Zinyak. Then how's this gonna piss them off? Oh, it won't. It'll piss off who they're for. Why do I feel like I'm talking in circles? Look, all we need to do is to get to the docks and destroy all the trucks. Think you can do that? So you're gonna turn on the radio, or what? <laughs> I thought you never asked. Where'd it go? Uh. <laughs> I'm Pierce Washington on the rap, so Mike it. Here's a little story, and you're sure to like it. Swift and slide, and it's time to play with the president of the USA. Baby, it seems we never, ever agree. You like the movies, and I like TV. I take it serious, and you take the light. I go to bed early, and I party all night. <laughs> Our friends are saying, we ain't gonna last Cause I move slowly And baby I'm fast I like it quiet And I love to shout But when we get together It just all works out I take two steps forward I take two steps back We come together Cause our opposites attract And you know It ain't fiction Just a natural fact We come together Cause our since attract Who'd have thought We could be lovers She makes the bed And he steals the covers She likes it neat And he makes a mess I take it easy Baby, I get upset She's Right, let's get our destruction on hey, Why is the brotherhood here, Pierce? You really surprised Zinyak's pulling out all the old gangs from our past! Yeah, I guess he is. You figure Donnie's out there too? Oh, I highly doubt that.
Please give me a challenge. Takes care of the trucks. All right, let's get going. Back in the car? I'm still not letting you drive. Good. Then we can listen to some more music on the way? Oh, what the hell. Marquis. Man, I can't wait to kill that bitch. Driving the So why'd we head to the nuke plant? We're looking for some nuclear waste. Chris, what are you up to? Damn, they already boxed up the stuff. Hey, start checking the crate. Seriously? Come on, start checking! Empty. Still think I'm just a pretty face? Nope. Not here. It's gotta be. Maybe it's on the other side of the building. Saints rule even here.
was fun. Great, part two complete. Now to follow the guy getting away. Uh, shouldn't we be moving faster? Uh, that's a good idea. Looks like he isn't that far ahead. Remember, we can't kill him. We have to find out where he's going. Right, boss. This boss? Shit, I can get used to this. Don't. Looks like he isn't that far ahead. Remember, we can't kill him. We have to find out where he's going. Right, boss. Boss? Shit, I can get used to this. Don't. Was it too much for you? You know that's our thing. We turn on the radio and let ourselves go. Who says we have to sing along on every freaking drive? Oh, come on, man. We just did, too. Then be thankful for that and stop distracting me. But can't you tell someone and flex those pipes at the same time? I'm not going to sing if I can't give it my all. Hmm. You have a point. So we're going to trail this guy quietly. Deal? All right, go right ahead. Looks like he isn't that far ahead. Remember, we can't kill him. We have to find out where he's going. Right, boss. Boss? Shit, I can get used to this. Don't.
dumbass. So why ain't we singing? What? You know that's our thing. We turn on the radio and let ourselves go. Who says we have to sing along on every freaking drive? Oh, come on, man. We just did, too. Then be thankful for that and stop distracting me. But can't you tell someone and flex those pipes at the same time? I'm not going to sing if I can't give it my all. Hmm. You have a point. So we're going to trail this guy quietly. Deal? All right, go right ahead. If you... Still the best. He's heading to the airport. That's where he's at, of course. Where who's at? Just keep going. We won't let him get away. Dancing. Oh, wait, that looks like Marrow. Who do you think we've been after? The Brotherhood, the monster truck, the radioactive material. Those were things that had meaning to Marrow. Going after them was the only way to flush him out. So the Saints wish to play again. Well, this time I'm not going to offer you a deal. Don't worry, we wouldn't take one. I see you let your lackeys do the talking for you now. Hey, Marrow. How's Jessica? I'm going to enjoy killing you both. Damn it, the bastard didn't die! The power I have here is incredible! Incredibly simulated? The real Marrow's dead, and you're not even his ghost. This world is as real as I make it. Here, I will be a god. Yeah, good luck with that. More from you. Was it too much for you? I always hated that asshole. See? 
My way works. But why didn't we come straight for him and... My way works. You're right. It did. Nice job, Pierce. You mean, boss. Don't push it. Right. Sounds like trouble. has been a thorn in my side far too long. As a 
he wasn't bad enough in real life, the even more messed up virtual one has invaded the simulation. We're going to Sierra Point to destroy his base and end him once and for all. Is Cyrus really that bad of a guy? Are you kidding me? He's- Whoa, kidding. Why are you so pissed off? You saw what he put me in. You saw. Huh. Here I am thinking this might be about the time we try to nuke the U.S. That Cyrus is dead. This Cyrus is running rampant in the simulation. I've managed to shut him down each time before things blow everything up! Well, someone sure is excited about taking the fight to the enemy. Just get in a tank already! Reporting for duty! Yeah! Look! A UFO! Cyrus Temple can break into this simulation. This incarnation of Cyrus came from my subconscious. I can only assume he took some of my knowledge about how this whole thing works with him. Do you have any idea how insane that sounds? Do you realize how crazy everything since we were abducted from the White House sounds? I'm just trying to roll with the punches and not dwell on the absurdity. Enemy ship flying in. my middle name. Not you, him! Can't wait to take you back to where you belong. The kitchen! <laughs> Looks like that took care of him. Don't bet on it. I know he's still here somewhere. Are you still trying to fight a man's fight?
went on to head the stag initiative. I figured it would be a cushy job. After all, pitting a military organization against common street thugs seemed like a one-sided battle. The Saints changed that perspective quickly. Monica Hughes had no idea what she was saying. Saints is insane. We expected them to tear through Steelport, but no one knew what they were really capable of. After they destroyed that aircraft carrier, Hughes should have approved the Daedalus right then and there. Zinyak. Show Johnny some of what he missed while he was away. Think you can recreate Professor Deathcat's murder maze? Genki Bowl? Oh, absolutely. I'll only need a moment. Great. Have Johnny meet me there.
Yankee fans, tonight's event sees the head of the Third Street Saints and his number one gun facing off against the halls of death and dismay that is Yankee Bowl Arena. Will they survive? Will they fall to the might that is your favorite professor? Stay tuned, the carnage starts right now. Genki Bowl? What the fuck is a Genki Bowl? The rules are simple. Kill everything in front of you and don't die. Say no more. Let's do this. Just wait until the mascots get a load of my new powers. It hardly seems fair for you to have superpowers when Johnny doesn't. Superpowers? Let's just do this how we used to. Fine, no superpowers. For now. I can't even tell you how great it is having you back, Johnny. When we thought you were dead. I can't believe you actually thought a trans you piece of shit like Philippe Loren would ever get the best of it. Losing you just about broke, Shandy. Yo, it was no picnic for me either being stuck in that Zinyak fucker's torture porn. No, I don't know if Zemo's made it, but Oleg is... Well, first time I met Oleg, he was naked and strapped into a big machine. You know, being stuck in that fucked up side scroller all that time, reliving Aisha's death all day, every day, gave me a lot of perspective. Perspective? On what? Shit, man, everything. Look, I can't have a moment. With you. Oh, you know, 1950s sitcom. What? When I close my eyes, I can still hear the laugh. No, I get it. Terrible. What's scary about a fucked up version of a Rust Belt city like Steel? Zinyak thinks being in a town where the Saints don't run things is enough to break them. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. It started with nothing, but I can always rebuild. <laughs> Respect. Great job on the killing floor by the Dream Team. Yeah, that was great. Wait, there's more to this? What's that? You heard the man. Play progresses to the second round. Matt, flip my powers back to on. Fine. It hardly seems fair. Matt, this isn't funny. What the hell are you doing? Oh, gee, I don't know what happened. <laughs> you wear it well. Just fix it. Matt? We should be fine now! Yo, so fill me in. What's been going on lately? You know, took out some terrorists, became the president of the United States, rolled back the national debt. Ooh, got to play Air Force One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about before that? Before that, the steel board. You missed the luchadors, evil hackers, and European assholes in black suits. Luchadors? What, you mean wrestlers? Uh-huh. And I thought Stillwater had some fucked up gangs. Yo, what about Philippe? He was our number one target. 
Yeah, you couldn't just stop with him. Yeah, you can't go after one without taking on the whole town. Fortunately, we had Kinsey and Zemos and Oleg and... Zemos and Oleg? Are they on the ship too? Shit, man, with a name like Oleg, I bet he was a big motherfucker. Uh, yo, yo, Steelport sounds like a party town. Where's me? You're good? Well, nobody could replace you, Johnny. Ah, bite me. No, but seriously, lots of new folks wearing purple these days. Kinsey's really smart. Kind of freaks me out how she always knows so much more than everyone else. But we wouldn't be able to take the fight to Zinyak without her. And what about that Mac kid? Did he and Kinsey a thing? Oh god, Johnny, don't even say that. Don't put that in my head. How about Asher? And what's her deal? Well, that's a good question. She doesn't really talk about herself much. She's good though, right? Feeling a little competition there, Johnny? No, but she's... I guess she's not used to having competition when it comes to the team badass. <laughs> Neither am I. I gotta know. Keith David. How the hell is that? I figured he's Keith David, you know? He can play anything, even the VP. Yeah, sure, but doesn't he remind you of. I know, I know, but it's so much like Before we go, yo, Matt, hook me up with some superpowers. Really? But don't turn me into a fucking toilet. Fucking in. Yo, whenever you're ready. How you holding up, huh? Fine, just fine. You're not getting tired? Sure you don't need a break? Sure you're gonna make it through this without taking a mortal wound? No guarantees. Oh, you wanna start bringing up shit? We could talk about that stank-ass perfume, the oversized marital age, and that purple cat Pierce was trying to breathe. Hey, he came close that one time. Yo, dude, grape saint's flow dumped on your fur is not a hereditary trait. But what if it was? Look at this! The kinky girls have entered the arena! I can't wait to see the carnage! Hey, about Sean. I know me disappearing like that had to be hard. It's obvious she was the kinky girl she was back in the No. No, she's not. Yeah. But she's not the only one who got fucked up by your death, John. I don't know. Pierce seems fine. Pierce has drank so much Saint's flow, I don't think he can feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know you. I had nobody on my side in that fucking simulation. And half the fun of murdering is doing it alongside a friend. Oh, me too. Ah, oh, Jesus. Now, can we quit being pussies and shoot these fucking mascots? I hope you don't mind, but I took this opportunity to create something special for you two. Well, more for Johnny, really. Should I be concerned? You'll find out soon. Okay, we're here. Now what? Now what? Oh, my 
train. Surely even you must know what's next. Philippe. Neither of you really got a chance to take out your frustrations on it. Matt, you might just be a genius after all. Please. You honestly think it You can do better than this, Johnny. And right back, Philippe Loren, former head of the Syndicate, is dead. Again. Zach, that was a hell of a match. Indeed it was, Bobby. Drama, comedy, pathos, and gallons of blood. Everything that makes this sport a sweet science. Wrong sport, Zach, but I know what you mean. This is getting a little weird for anyone else, but just me. Uh, yeah. Matt, get, get us out of here. 